and I pointed out some of you probably remember the planetarium, the observatory you see now to the uh, right of the bus, and the lakes of Palermo Park, which is what we're going to visit now. The planetarium here is an observatory, and it is used uh, by, among others, NASA. The, on the other side of the road, there's a monument here I'd like to point out to you. The statue you see ahead uh, is one of the generals of the War of Independence and the park which is about 180 acres of land here has actually been was landscaped by a French landscape artist called Carlos Thais. What he actually did was quite smart. This was swamp land. Uh, that was a big river bank. But hey, another thing the city wants to say is look now the right dog walkers. You own a dog a dog walker, he takes your dog for a walk one, two, three times a day. Um, what Thais did was to actually design the park and he used some artificial lakes to regulate the water level of the streets of Buenos Aires. So when it rains, these lakes fill up and when it doesn't rain, the level drops. So it, it, it's interesting to see how the city of Buenos Aires can actually regulate the water level. Inside the park there's all sorts of things, including a zoo, a botanical gardens, and a rose garden. But I would like you to just take a look at a statue which is across the road. And tell me if anyone can see. You see a little girl? Yeah. Yes, and what else do you see in that statue? 